Now all we need to do is um, make, it, make it symmetrical here. Which is simple enough. We just make this edible here. And then now maybe we can get rid of this uh, restriction tag. Hit the delete button. And it should stay in place. So now I have two sets. If we move this, we'll see we have another set right, right there. There's the head. Move that aside for now. Oops. Alright. All we need to do is go to our UV commands here and mirror U and just bring these together and we notice that the, the feet will actually go into each other. Of course we don't <coughs> we don't want that. There are a couple of different things we could do here. We could change where our seam is actually located. <coughs> but right now it Kind of runs along, along the back there. So we can keep that the way it is, and we can just rotate <coughs> our legs a little bit. And of course, you probably want to rotate them equally on each side, so you'd probably want to quantize the movement. On attributes and snap settings and all that. Bring these together. We see they're they're still a little off, but that's okay. And we're just going to UV terrace those together, stitch them together, and then there's uh, the full complete symmetrical model there on each side. Maybe do a little bit more relaxing to even out our geometry just a little bit there. Make sure things are uniform. <coughs> and again, you can always move those in a little bit. <coughs> they look a little bit out of place. If they look about a little bit out of place, if you're happy with that, then and that should be fine otherwise we can select those again and uh, pin the border points there we go mm. and then the head we want to mirror that so when we select this side, it's actually that side. Oops. Move. Bring that together. <coughs> Stitch that together. Relax. Undo that. There we go. So there's our head. <coughs> there's our body. And go to mapping, realign. Of course, that's certainly not what we want to to correct that. We can just only select our body here. So we move the head to the side. We realign that. Oh, it's stretched to fit. We don't want stretch to fit. Undo that a few times. Don't want stretch to fit. It changes our orientation. Or not our orientation, but our uniform. And there's the head. We find a place to put it. We can put it down here, or we can rotate it to the side. <coughs> and since the head is actually a more detailed part of the body, you probably would want it a little bit bigger. So the squares would be smaller here. Just rotate that. And you'd probably want to quantize that at 45 degrees. You get a nice 90 degree angle there. And there it is to the side. So there's our whole body. And it's done. And this is the same <coughs> similar method as, as you would model hands and feet with the individual parts. As, imagine these like being fingers or thumbs. So it, it, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a bit of a process. Ooh, what do we have here? 
Mm-hmm. But it's not it's not a nightmare as some people make it out to be. It really isn't that difficult. All right, so there's there it is. Something I didn't exactly go over is on the Relax UV pinpoint selection. You can use a tag, so if you actually set a selection in your points, you can use that. And also there's cut edges. And what that actually means is exactly what it says. It means you can go to the standard mode. Select, you can select the polygons you want to mess with. And just select them all. We can select the edges we would like to actually have cut. So we're going to use a loop selection tool. It would probably, probably be good for that. Right now I'm just selecting these edges. We go back to UV. And we want to relax this whole thing. <coughs> we want to cut selected edges. If we hit apply, it doesn't seem really. Oh, wait. Oops. Alright. Oh, there we are. Yep. Still pinning to neighbors, so it's not exactly cutting along the edges as it should be. And that, that's more or less what it does, though. Let's get a simpler object here. <coughs> Oops. Let me get a sphere to demonstrate. We have our sphere. <coughs> I'm going to select a few loops here. UV edit. Oops. Sphere. There we go. There's our sphere. UV mapping. Relax UV. Deselect these. Okay. Now we've seen what it done. Well, we've seen what it has done. It's actually cut along those edges as it relaxed. But of course, it doesn't do that if you have if you have uh, pendant neighbors selected. You might be able to. Nope. So you can't have any of that selected when you're when you're cutting along edges. So usually it's just the best. <coughs> usually easier to just make your own edges where they need to be. But that's what that is. I don't use that a whole lot. Hence me not showing it to you earlier. But it is available, and sometimes it, it can come in handy. Now that we have our UV, we'd actually like to be able to use it, right? So here it is, but it needs to be on a surface where we can paint on. You can go directly to the paintbrush tool and start painting on it if you have a material. You click this to enable actual drawing, then you double click on that. I'm going to ask you what kind of size image you want and the name of that image mm. and the resolution and all that. <clears throat> so, let's say new texture. Here it is. And here's our layers. It's kind of like Photoshop. So we can immediately start painting on it or we can start painting on it mm. in here if we're in the proper mm. mode here. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I have to apply it to my object. Go ahead and do that, and let's go ahead and delete this one here. So now I can actually paint directly on the object itself. So that's kind of nifty. And it'll paint across the seams just the same. And you should be able to actually see that happening as you're painting. So there it is, happening simultaneously. So you can actually see what you're painting, or you can just paint on here and get all kinds of random stuff also. But it paints right across the seams. See, there's our back seams. Apparently, we need to work on that a little bit to get them more uniform. But this is just a tutorial here. Nothing too serious. But there they are. See them crossing from one side to the other. <coughs>